Windows, it exists. It has its many flaws, but we have to stick with it. However, whenever anyone online tells me that they are sick of Windows and they wanna switch to Linux because of X and Y, I usually tell them, you do realize you can just change that, right? Because thanks to the power of the registry editor, you can customize the OS way more than most people realize, including removing some of the most annoying aspects of the whole OS. So today we'll be going over the five biggest changes you can do to make the experience so much smoother, starting with probably the biggest annoyance all of us have with modern Windows, web searches. You know, when you're trying to find something in a search bar, but instead of giving you settings or programs, Windows just gives you some unrelated results from Bing. Yeah, that. You can get rid of that very easily. So just simply go into your registry editor and then make your way to this directory. hkey underscore current underscore user software policies Microsoft and Windows. Then if there is an explorer folder there, simply just click on that. If there isn't, simply just right click on Windows and then create a brand new key called explorer. Then within the explorer key, you wanna right click into it, click on new and select the D word 32 bit value option. Rename this value to disable search box suggestions with each word starting with a capital letter then click into it and change its value to be one. And that will finally remove all of those Bing results that literally no one ever clicks on from the search bar. Now, another very, very annoying thing about Windows that you also probably ran into before is random notifications saying that you can't change or delete a file because you don't have the right permissions, even though you're the admin and it's your PC. Well, don't worry, there is something you can do about that. What you wanna do is head into each key underscore classes underscore root directory, shell, run as, command. Again, if any of the keys don't exist yet, you can just simply add them in yourself. Then within command, you wanna add a string value and then call it isolated command. Then click on it and enter this command right here, which will be in the video description below for an easy copy and paste for you. Aren't I so kind to provide that for you? Now, when you click on a file or folder, you'll see a brand new take ownership option. And if you click on it, it'll give you much broader rights over whatever it is that you've clicked on, which kind of helps solve those issues of not having the right permissions to do stuff on your own machine. Now, as you're going through all these menus, doing all these edits, one thing you may notice is this weird delay between when you hover over an expandable option in a context menu and when those options actually appear. By default, this delay is set to 400 milliseconds, and that is 400 milliseconds of your precious limited time on Earth that you're never getting back. So thankfully, you can change that. By going into H key underscore current underscore user, control panel and desktop, and then finding the menu show delay option that should already be there, you can change exactly how long that delay is. So those options appear much faster after that, saving you plenty of time in the long run. Another thing that wastes your precious time with Windows is the lock screen. You know, the thing that you see at the very beginning when you boot up your PC, usually just gives you the time and some pretty pictures, as well as some information about where that picture's from, yeah you can totally skip that. Go into H key underscore local underscore machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, and then personalization, or create a brand new personalization key if you don't have one. That's personalization spelled the wrong American way, by the way. In there, create a 32-bit D word called no lock screen, and set the value to one. That way, whenever you boot up your PC, you'll be sent straight to login instead. Now for the final one, imagine that you have several tabs open of a single application. Like for example, you're working on multiple Word files at once because you left all your assignments last minute, you are good at multitasking, or you have ADHD, or maybe all of the above. Usually when you click on Word in your taskbar at the bottom, it will bring up all of the existing tabs that you didn't have to click on again to get to the one you were just at. Well, there is actually a registry editor edit you can do to address that. Simply go into key underscore current underscore user, then software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, advanced, 
and create a D word called last active click and change the value to one. That way, whenever you click on an app with multiple instances of it running, you'll be instantly taken to the last active window rather than being given that choice right off the bat. Now, if you just hover over it, it will still give you all the options, all the tabs. However, if you click on it, it will always take you to the last active tab, which is great. Now, those are just five of the many things you can do in the registry editor. Like I said, it's extremely powerful. So other other ones like Mist that are really, really good that help solve some of the biggest issues in Windows, let me know down in the comments below which ones you use that others should also maybe take into account. And hey, if you like this kind of video, maybe support us on Patreon so you can do more like this in the future. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vronyak, Badash Roka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.